Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video. I'm having such a bad hair day. So we're in these braids, but like even the braids weren't working for me, so just ignore. But for today's video, I feel like all my videos lately have been like about training in the gym, and I wanna like kinda Strickle in, that was not a word. Trickle in, I don't even know. But bring in some more like nutrition content, just kind of share what I'm doing nutrition wise. And I also really need to go to the grocery store today, coincidentally, so I figured I would show you guys like my grocery staples and also just like my main sources of protein as well because I know that's really, really hard for a lot of people to hit. We're also about to go to the gym right now. We're starting this video off very active. Today is my full body circuit day, which I know you guys really love, those kinds of workouts as well. So of course I want to show you all that. I also need to go to stop it, uh, TJ Maxing at the candle. Doesn't seem like a priority, but it is. So let's go. Super quick fix check. Super fix. <laughs> Super quick fix. <laughs> Wait, why is this a tongue twister? Super quick fit check before we go. Wow. Okay, these shorts, I always get asked. They are actually from TJ Maxx, but the brand is MPG. Don't know anything about them, but that's what it says on the back. Alphalete sports bra. As always, that's the back of it. And then this is just like a super old cut Adidas t-shirt that's cut way too cropped, but I kind of vibe with it. I'm feeling like, ugh. I just didn't want tight bottoms today. So I like having these looser shorts to opt for. You know what I'm saying? Hello, my love. So welcome to the workout of today's vlog. So I like to start off with jump roping a majority of my workouts just because it really helps to get my blood pumping. It gets my heart rate up and just gets me overall warmed up very relatively quickly. Also is great for footwork and overall athleticism. So I like to work on different foot combinations and all that good stuff and different tricks and stuff. So for my full body circuit days, if you are new, basically it is in an EMOM format, meaning every minute on the minute. I actually got this from Taylor Chamberlain years ago. So essentially what that means is that you are going to complete the assigned number of reps for each exercise during each minute and then whatever time you have left within that minute after you complete the number of reps is your rest time so essentially the faster you move through the reps the longer rest times you have but that's also what makes it more challenging because at the end when you're getting more tired and take longer to get through the reps you end up having a shorter rest time so it's kind of what makes it fun keeps up the intensity and keeps up the challenge so here we have seven exercises that we're going to be completing for continuous rounds of back to back so there's going to be no assigned rest in between rounds first we're starting off with 10 burpees i like to come down i don't do a full push-up but i go till all of my body is laying down on the ground and then push myself back up i don't know about you but i always feel my shoulders and my arms a lot when i do burpees i think from pushing up but coming right up to the sky jumping as high as you can and really trying to explode out of that burpee if you need a moderation or modification feel free just to come down into a plank instead of putting your body all the way down to the floor if you want to get super challenging you can also go into a push-up at the bottom as well so then you're going to rest until minute two begins here we're going to do eight reverse lunges to a lateral raise so we're going to come down into a lunge again sink back and down into the lunge i like to have it so my knee is stacked over my ankle i drive up through my front legs heel and when i come up out of that lunge i do a nice lateral raise i stop when my arms are just about parallel with the ground and i tilt my pinkies up ever so slightly just to hone in on the contraction with my delts here i'm using really lightweight Weights. I'm not trying to push weight here. I'm just trying to get in reps and movement and not necessarily obviously trying to push heavy weight. I save that for my heavy lifting days. So then for minute three, we rested and then we're going to do 35 seconds of side to side BOSU ball jumps. So you're basically just going to be coming down into a sumo squat, jumping up and then changing the foot that is on that BOSU ball. This is great for stability. You want to make sure you're keeping your core tight. This burns the legs like no other. Just trust me on it. This one definitely gets the heart rate up and gets you feeling warm. That is for sure. So again, after you complete 35 seconds, you're going to rest for the rest of the minute. And then once minute four begins, we are going to go into 10 dive bombers. I do these so often. I love these just for like a dynamic upper body movement that really engages all of your trunk and your arms. I just love it. Basically, you're going to start in a teepee and come down. It's like a yoga move. I try to have it so my nose is skimming the ground. I kind of body roll onto the ground. You're really going to feel it in your shoulders as you come down and then like your triceps and chest as you push back up into that teepee so like i said i kind of envision it as a body roll down also is great for some spine mobility as well and you'll really want to keep your core engaged the whole time as well then for minute five we are doing 12 supermans this is great for your back and also engaging your glutes so essentially you're going to come up squeeze your lower back squeeze your back squeeze your glutes try to lift your feet and chest up off the ground and really hone in on that contraction then this is within the same minute you're going to grab a kettlebell and whip out 12 
12 glute bridges as well to continue burning out the booty. I like to keep it again so my heels are just about below my knees to really feel it in my glutes. And here again, we're kind of going more so for speed. We want a faster tempo to make sure we can complete it in the minute. For minute six, I did eight B stand stiff leg deadlifts to a shoulder press. So essentially just a stiff leg, a deadlift. I really explained this more in depth in my last vlog. If you want to check that out in my leg workout, where you're going to come down. And then when you come up out of that movement, you're going to do a nice neutral grip shoulder press where your palms are facing inwards towards each other. This is a great full body movement. My core is nice and tight. I'm pushing my hips backwards to go down into that stiff leg deadlift, driving up through my hamstrings and glutes by pushing up through my heels. And when I get to the top, again, shooting those dumbbells up towards the sky. And for the last minute of this little circuit, we're doing marching crunches. I did anywhere between 16 to 20 reps, depending on again, how much time I had and how quickly I was moving through. So here you want your feet to be up off the ground and you're going to bring up each knee. And as you do that, you're going to be driving that dumbbell up and trying to lift your shoulder blades off the ground. I get such a nice contraction in my abs when I do this one. I try to suck my belly button to my spine as well to keep my core engaged. Your lower back should still be pressed into the mat to engage your core. And you really wanna focus on using your abs to pull your knees in and your chest up as opposed to your hip flexors and using momentum. Day. I hope you enjoyed that little like moody vibey intro to the next day yesterday just kind of got late and I just like wasn't feeling it and you know we can't force content around here so here we are the next day I didn't go to the store or anything yesterday so we're gonna do that today and I figured we could do like some wholesome Saturday afternoon errands this morning like it's major fall vibes day you guys it was so like rainy this morning perfect little like peaceful drizzle it was perfect for like the background of my meditation i had such a good meditation this morning it's, like i got to a point where i like literally felt connected to my higher self and it like literally made me want to like brought tears to my eyes and i love when that happens in meditation like when i get to a point of meditation where there's like emotion evoked in me i love that and that's when i just feel like i'm like super like locked in and like really in it and like submersed in my meditation and I just really love it. Also, I have like two really quick random things to tell you. Hang on. First thing is yesterday on my Instagram, I like asked like just for my own curiosity because I keep getting comments about like where people are from. And I was like, what like country or state are you from? You guys, I literally can't even count the difference in countries and states and all this stuff. Like it's insane. Like this just keeps going. Like, like 
Like, it, it's insane. I We have so many states, like, across the U.S., but you guys, in terms of country, like, I thought it was amazing that, like, I had someone from Australia watch me. Turns out there's a ton of people from Australia and New Zealand that watch this channel. Shout out to you guys. Freaking Panama, a lot of people from Canada, Colombia, Bangladesh, Malaysia, Jamaica, Mexico, Puerto Rico, Chile, Uruguay, Hong Kong, like, what? India, Singapore, Venezuela, France. There's a lot of people from Italy, Serbia. Bolivia. I could go on and on and on. I just feel like I'm giving people a shout out. Costa Rica, Portugal, I don't know if I already said those. Nepal, South Africa, Cape Town, UK, Croatia, Austria, Finland, Denmark, Belgium. Germany, Ecuador. I, I don't even know, like it just blows my mind that like we're all connected. Like think about that. But like we're all doing the same thing in all different parts of the world. Like that's so sick you guys. I freaking love it. Next thing super random but on my Instagram story which if you're not following my Instagram definitely I would recommend at least checking it out. I post a lot of like daily affirmations on there and literally two days ago I posted one and I forget what I said exactly. I essentially said that I am an irreplaceable presence was one of my affirmations. That same day you guys I got a YouTube comment that said I'm an irreplaceable soul which if that was you like again of course thank you for the super kind words that means a lot but I just am saying like you guys like affirmations are so powerful like what are the odds the exact same day I've never gotten a comment like that that worded that ever that's what I mean when it's like affirmations are just so powerful and like when you step into that energetic state and like embody that frequency like your energy speaks for itself and like people feel that it's literally insane I know Okay, to be honest, it's all like dreary again. It's cloudy. I think it's gonna rain again So I'm hoping that we can get in and out of these stores without actually getting rained on because I'm parking far away Because I also really need to get my steps in so like I'm kind of essentially just gonna be trying to walk around in the store as well To get as many steps in as I can. First stop is TJ Maxx because I really need a candle I know it's not a need. It's still a want, but I feel like I need the candle. So I'm going in to find a candle Sorry. Oh, no, no, you're totally fine. I, like, I just 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 like, I I really only got two candles for a second I was like do I want to actually shop and I was like no also next thing I don't really love like fall scented things like I'm not like ooh pumpkin smell you know so this one is amber and ode o-u-d this is like super light uplifting but like giving me like a comfort fall woody like there's a fire burning type vibe so I do really like this one the brand is natural essentials by prime living the second one I got is not fall at all but it's a nice really light candle this is from the brand sand and fog I love this brand so much and it is in scent French lavender it just smells like light lavender but like fresh laundry vibe and so I really like that like this I really like for like mornings it's very like it will wake me up their lids of their things are always so cute so this says gratitude on it it's so cute and i just love the image and i was like okay i can get down with fall time because it's like gratitude hour you know okay lovies we are officially entering walmart and i'm going to show you guys like my staples grocery staples i'm pretty much out of a lot of everything at home so i'm pretty much going to get everything and so you'll be able to get to see like my main things and then when i get home i'll share with you guys like literally all the different ways that i get my protein in Right. 
I couldn't not get a watermelon, you guys. I, I was not going to, and then I had to. I'm gonna try to go through this as quickly as I can so it's not super, super boring. I'm gonna give you a whole grocery store haul run through. These are like pretty much my staples. I get something similar or like a variation of such every single week or like, I don't know, every 10 days when I do a full shop. So first I have a pie nut hummus. This is my favorite one. Then for frozen vegetables, these are peas and carrots, which I know seems like the most dreaded frozen veggie, but it's honestly really good with frozen rice cauliflower and chicken sausage. It's actually so freaking good. And I also put this in my smoothies and I have some frozen green beans. And then I have this chicken sausage, which literally has changed my life in the past like month. I've been obsessed with it. This is the Sam's Choice brand. It's so freaking good. The ingredients are great. The macros are fantastic. Only three grams of fat, three grams of carbs or 15 grams of protein. This stuff is amazing and it's cooked super, super quickly. So I've been obsessed with it. Then I don't usually get this, but I'm in the mood to make pizzas tonight. So I have cauliflower, crust and then also I have never gotten these before but this is all natural like cauliflower and rice coated chicken tenders which again the macros are pretty good the ingredients were awful so I figured that I would give these a go and see if I like them. I usually never buy like frozen packaged stuff like this but I found like a whole new section at Walmart and I was like I need to give these a try. Then I have some salmon as well and then just a straight up chicken pack. So that's it for my frozen stuff. Next is like produce. <laughs> Here I just have normal baby spinach. I like to saute this on the side of my eggs in the morning. I randomly wanted, I saw this orange and I was like, you know what, I want one. So I bought a singular orange. Then I have some great tomatoes and then also some tomatoes on the vine, which all came off. <laughs> but this I'm gonna use for my pizzas tonight. I'm thinking of doing like pizza. Guys, hear me out. So we got our crust, right? Pesto chicken, tomato, and some goat cheese. I think it's gonna be so good. I never had goat cheese, but like it just came to me. Some mini cucumbers. I have a red onion, some bananas. I only got a few cause like none of them were ripe. I got a zucchini and yellow squash. I have a big thing of strawberries. I usually get the small one thing, but I think I go through enough of them now to be able to get through this without them going bad. I have some bell peppers, which I'll probably make with like onions and either like turkey burgers or turkey sausage. I have a big thing of gala apples and a head of romaine lettuce. Then some miscellaneous items. I needed more oatmeal. Can't live without oatmeal. I get quick oats. Random, never got these protein bars before, but I figured I'd do a taste test on them. I've tried their the Fit Crunch snack bars before, but never this flavor. This is caramel pecan. Oh, caramel peanut. Yo, this whole time I was reading it as caramel pecan. Regardless, maybe, I don't know if I've had these before. I don't love the macros on these, but they taste good. And for some reason I just felt like in them, so I got them. Then I got, this is actually wasn't from Walmart. I stopped at another store, but this is ginger and peach herbal tea. Then for canned stuff, I got whole kernel corn, three cans of tuna. Village. This is the best almond butter ever, this honey almond butter. I got some more cinnamon because I use it every single morning in my oatmeal. I got some random black olives because that's really black olives. I got this goat cheese, which is garlic herb, and it just seems so good. All it is is pasteurized goat milk, salt, and enzymes, and then garlic and spices. Like, so I figured I would try. This was also from a different store. This is pesto. And I also got a watermelon and the big thing of eggs. Also, mini disclaimer, I do live with my brother, so I share like some of this stuff with him, like a good amount of this he just eats as well. So yeah. Some other big staples for me that I like didn't need to re-up on are like rice cakes, popcorners, sweet potatoes, things like that. I already had them here, so I need to buy them. But, like those are also something that I like, would regularly purchase. And before I close out this vlog, I just want to share with you guys like some of my main protein sources that are like my go to that I really always turn to if I need to get more protein in. So firstly, eggs are a huge one. Chicken of any kind. And if I get really sick of it, like if I don't wanna just buy a chicken pack and make chicken, I'll buy like those chicken tender type things. Those are my first time buying that. But you know what I mean? Like I'll buy like frozen chicken strips or a frozen variation of chicken to make it a little bit easier for me, but also like still have a protein source in. Ground turkey is huge for me. I use it to make tacos and also turkey burgers are a really, really big one. Salmon is another huge one. I love to make that honestly on the grill lately. It's super good so i'll make salmon the sun just went behind a cloud and the lighting just changed so much along with that tuna is also a huge thing that i'll turn to as well so that's like usually a big lunch option chicken sausage like i said is a big one turkey sausage is also another good one and honestly lately i found these like salmon packets that are super super easy super quick and they're a really good like substitute instead of me eating tuna all the time and then of course like protein shakes and protein bars i love the owen pre-made protein shakes i've been living off of those lately i've been using those a lot i have a code with 
with them actually. It's LiftFit20 for 20% off. This isn't sponsored, but I just have a code for you guys. And then also Built Bar, as you guys know, LiftFit10 will save you 10% off as well. Love their bars so much. I also love One Bars, some certain Quest Bars I really love, No Cow Bars I really like, Fit Crunch Bars I like, Bear Bell Bars are also amazing. So those are some like protein bar options. And then like I'll use like protein powder and things like that to make like a protein smoothie. That's another really good source for me as well. And then, oh, how could I forget my turkey bacon and turkey sausage that I have in the morning is so freaking perb, you guys. You need to try it. I didn't buy it at the store today because I didn't need it. That's another thing. So that turkey sausage is absolutely phenomenal. I love it. And also that turkey bacon. They're honestly, the ingredients are great. The macros are great. So then also just for like more random ideas for you guys, like that chomps like turkey jerky thing, for example, like that's something that had 10 grams of protein in that little thing or turkey jerky in general. And then I'm not like super familiar with a ton of just simply plant-based options just because I'm not plant-based, but another one that I really do like to utilize is edamame. There's like 17 grams of protein in a cup or something crazy. So that's also a really good option. So yeah, I think that's everything. I hope this gave you guys some more like nutrition inspo because I feel like I've just been talking about workouts the past like multiple weeks of my videos, which is fine, but I just feel like it's time for a switch up and I felt like doing this. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate your guys' love and support. I'm sending you guys so much love and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.